Hi, welcome on this exercise using Business Objects Cloud. Today, focusing on two types of specific calculations, the difference form calculation and the restricted calculation. My name is Ivor van Zandt, SAP Global Analytics. And on the screen, I have been logged into SAP Business Objects Cloud and I use Wave 24, the most recent wave. And the data that I've put in the model is a little sample I created, which is over here. I um, created uh, quickly three products with one measure, a certain uh, metric. And you see that I have a date and uh, very important, I've chosen to put the date on the level of month. And that is a strict prerequisite using the difference from calculation that works as of the level of month, so not the individual dates, uh, but the level of month. And uh, so I created a model for that. I loaded this data, and um, I'm going to use this data to calculate the, the differences. So uh, to show you the data very quickly, uh, so what I've done over here, I opened up my model, and over here is my metric and I can now choose the date, which uh, perfectly has this uh, automated hierarchy embedded, so I can drill down to a lower level, the year and to the quarters, and for example, over here, the month. If I now want to add the difference from December to uh, November, for example, comparing that, what I would do is create a uh, calculated measure, and that goes as follows. The, um, when clicking the calculated measure, it opens the calculation editor, where per default I have to type calculated measures with the well-known different functions, conditions that I can choose, or operators that I can choose. But for this exercise, I'm going to use the difference form type. And what you do in the difference from, let me go to my example where I used that, is that um, you um, define the measure that you um, uh, want to use to compare. You um, use the drop down box to select the time dimension. Again, this should be at the level of month as lowest gray and you choose whether you want to compare to the previous or to the next month. Over here, I can give a name to my, um, to my metric, and these are two very important fields. I can either choose to select a specific month that I want as the basis for my calculation. For example, if I want to calculate the difference against December, I would take that. Or I can opt for a, um, <clears throat> an input control where I can define the different selections my end user can make to choose him or herself uh, what the basis month or months are for the uh, calculation. Yeah. Um, so I'm canceling that. I will show you in the example. Over here, the, um, the period, uh, over here you define uh, with one or with two or three the period that you want your uh, core column to be compared to. So if I choose one, it means that December is going to compare it to November. If I would choose three, it means that December would be compared uh, towards September, yeah, so minus three. The example that I created is over here, so it's the same graph that you see on the top, the core graph with the metric, the date, and I used uh, date also as color to indicate, and what you see over here with the difference from is that I defined a calculated measure difference, which is uh, defined as follows. I give it a name, difference. My core measure is, of course, the metric, and the time dimension is the date on month level. I can compare to the previous or the next uh, month. 
And over here, I've made a pick list that uh, allows the user to choose uh, between September and December. And I choose to compare my core month to the month minus one. But again, I could also change this to two or a higher number, which gives me the following result. I can perfectly see over here that the difference from December against the um, um, previous month over here is, uh, then I would need to choose December, my excuses. The um, <clears throat> comparison of December, which is 3891, November is 3111, and the difference over here is 780, which is perfectly um, um, uh, calculated over here. I can also choose other months, or I could choose August using my pick list. Yeah. What I've also tested is whether um, this um, previous form, difference form calculation worked when I have various versions of data into my data set, uh, into my model. And to show you what I mean is that you can see over here in my source data that I have this data set for my actuals. But I also defined this data set for my plan or budgeted numbers and for my predicted or forecasted numbers. And I loaded all three of them into my model to compare budget, actuals, and uh, predictions or forecast. And I've done that in this exercise over here. Again, you can see on the top the core uh, analysis where I have my metric. And I have my dates. I made a selection to quarter four. And you can see in the category that I choose the actuals, the planned budget, and the uh, predicted forecast over here, perfectly compared. And in the second <coughs> graph, I also added my difference form calculation, which is named difference. And you can see that it perfectly worked because this line over here perfectly compares the forecast of December um, uh, 2016 with the forecast of November uh, 2016. And it also works as proved over here with the different categories. Thanks for your attention.